Well, more than a thousand people gathered in South Auckland last night for a memorial service to remember rugby legend Peter Fatia Lofa, who died suddenly last week at age 54. Even more are expected at the public funeral this morning before the former Manu Samoa captain is buried at the Manukau Memorial Gardens. Joining me now is Peter's nephew and New Zealand Rugby Sevens captain DJ Forbes. DJ, thank you for joining us this morning at, I'm sure, a very emotional time. Tell us what the memorial service was like last night. Oh, I think it was an awesome tribute, you know, to to Fats, the, the legend. Um, there was some um, awesome testimony shared, and I think uh, the amount of people that turned up was was just a fraction of, I think, uh, the lives that he's um, left the lasting impression on. So it was really special to be a part of, and uh, I'm sure it was a uh, uh, send-off that he was looking down upon. What sort of special memories do you have? Because over the last week we've heard a lot, particularly about his sense of humour, DJ. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I, I guess my early memories were definitely um, in his garage when he used to come home from his rugby tours and I used to be playing with his, uh, his older son, Jeremiah, and, and uh, we used to bully him a little bit and obviously growing up and getting the chance to play rugby with him was, was a, a great achievement. And then obviously in the later years, uh, sitting on uh, Fetz's deck with a lot of the family, listening to him singing uh, Blues to his shoes was probably one of my favourite memories, and uh, he's, got, he's got a pretty good voice when he's uh, in the zone, and it was always you know, good to be there and, and witness something like that. What sort of person was Peter? Because obviously you've spoken there of a sense of humour. He was also a big family man, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, um, a lot of people touched on that, and you know, he always said, you know, uh, it's always family first. And uh, I think the beauty about Fats was, you know, he was a simple man, and um, you know, he, he was never above or below anyone. He was always beside us. You know, we could talk to him um, openly as a friend. He was uh, never sitting there as a as an uncle, as an elder, um, and, and like he, um, like the world knows, you know, he was, he was really humble, and he was never above anyone. He'd, he'd love to be a part of uh, every family occasion just to mix and mingle and you know, hang out for the nephews especially. And as we're hearing, people are flocking to pay their tributes. I think he had 1,500 people last night. People have been flying in from Samoa. How many people are you expected today at the public service? Oh, I mean, uh, I can just imagine the amount of people that are going to be turning up. I mean, uh, Telstra was full last night, so um, you know we're expecting to have you know thousands uh, turning up, and it'll only be the I guess uh, the, the perfect honouring of, of such a legend, not just on the rugby field, but um, as a family man, as a as an icon, and, and what he was trying to do for you know the Samoan community as well as well as here in New Zealand. So it's going to be um, an awesome send-off, and hopefully one that you know everyone can be a part of. What do you think he will be remembered most for? Obviously, we know him as a as a great rugby player, but as you you say a family man he was heavily involved in the community wasn't he yeah I mean uh, I think he tried to do his best in everything in every endeavor that he got his hands on um, you know he, he did it to the utmost perfection um, he never left anything to, uh, to chance so uh, you know um, a lot of his family said that he didn't do things in halves you know whatever he set his, his mind to do he went out and did it and, and there was a few cheeky sayings about him you know uh, obviously um, you know, uh, making history with uh, obviously the Rugby World Cup and then, uh, he did it again with the, the Manusina girls and I uh, heard uh, a couple of remarks about him saying uh, you know, he hates doing this and a lot of people asked doing what and he said I'm making history you know so he has you know um, done a lot for for Samoa and um, you know I'm sure as you've seen uh, last night and, and obviously today you know um, the recognition that he's getting back. DJ, give us a sense of sort of what sort of people will be turning up today and who you had last night. I know we saw on the six o'clock news last night that the 91 World Cup, someone World Cup team got together and, and we saw them reminiscing. Um, who else are you expecting today? Oh, I think uh, people from all walks of life. Um, you know, like you mentioned, the, the, the Manu Samoa team, um, there were a lot of all black legends there uh, last night and obviously um, BG along with um, even the younger generation, um, you know, the youth that you know he's inspired and, and things like that. So I'm expecting uh, all walks of life, you know, to be there and to, to really uh, pay tribute to um, you know a legend both on and off the rugby field. Well, thank you, DJ, and we will be speaking to Michael Jones a little later, one of his teammates. But we hope today goes well and um, he gets a fitting send off. Cheers, thank you.